Hello everyone, it's your girl MJ, MJ going within, back at you. Um, I think it's been about four or five years since I left you when I uh, was doing HCG and we were all in the community checking in daily, reporting our weight and what we ate and what have you. Um, it's, yeah, it's been about four or five years, a lot has happened and let's see, um, you know, as you can clearly see, I am back up, up, up. Um, and with a little bit more weight to lose now, um, it's been year two of the pandemic and the pandemic has just been really, really difficult and challenging for me. I am not a homebody person. So being um, kind of like limited to just your home and being forced to like really stay at home took a toll on me. Um, it wasn't until year two, the summer after I finished my master's program that I really started piling on the weight. As long as I'm busy, I'm doing something, I'm kind of okay with that. But the minute it's just work and then staying home and kind of doing um minimal work you know in terms of like getting um activities done and everything is just here i am you know with the same amount of weight i have to lose that i lost um a good chunk uh from hcg so i of course need to um I need to lose the weight. I need to figure out how to get back into a space um, within myself, within my skin, where I feel like myself. I, uh, I am happy with what I'm seeing in the mirror and that my inside sort of reflects uh, what my outside looks like. And as of right now, that's not the case. I'm not hating on myself. I don't dislike myself. I don't think I'm ugly. I just really don't live in that space. However, I personally just do not feel, um, good in this weight. And so currently I weigh 171 pounds and I am embarking on a new, um, way of eating pattern, uh, of eating. So I'm doing intermittent fasting. I'm doing ADF, alternate day fasting. And I actually started um, Tuesday. So today's my second um, fasting day. And so far, it's so good. I'm um, familiar with fasting. I've done it in the past. Um, I think back in 2014, uh, 14, 2015 um, is when I read Dr. Fung's uh, The Obesity Code and um, all about fasting. And I've read several other books on it. So I've actually done uh, extended fasting in the past. Every summer I do a seven day fast, uh, which easily drops um, about seven to 12 pounds of weight off of me. And, you know, it's not, it doesn't stick maybe about five or seven of the pounds loss um, stick around. But for the most part, you know, you get back to the groove of things. But for the most part, I have um, really incorporated intermittent fasting in my life. I did OMAD for several months. I did 20 hours of, of fasting and four hours of eating and that worked really well. And those tricks of intermittent fasting has really helped me kind of maintain my weight in the 150s um, during the pandemic. However, um, something just kind of like blew up last summer and ballooned up and I just couldn't get the weight off. I don't know if it's my age. I don't know if it's um, hormones, but yeah, I'm really tr uh, struggling. And so I am embarking on this, um, journey. I don't know how well I'll do. I just know that I think I'm going to love it, enjoy it. Um, I'm I'm busy during the day. I, as for, for most of you, you know that I'm a teacher, so I teach during the day. Um, so I'm pretty busy in the morning. It's only in the afternoon that I have to um, really worry about like food and be obsessed with fasting or what have you. But so far, so good. Again, fasting is something I'm familiar with. Um, I do it for my Buddhist practice. Um, so yeah, I think I've caught you up. I'm hoping to check in here as frequently as I can. I probably won't be reporting my weight um, every week only because I don't weigh myself that frequently. 
Um, I think I'm probably going to weigh myself once a month just to get a gauge as to where I'm at. Um, in terms of my eating plan, um, I haven't really been on a diet since uh, HCG. I kind of was staying away from carbs, but since the pandemic started, that's completely gone away. So um, on the days that I'm fasting, I'm fasting pretty clean. Um, just mm, coffee, one cup of black, black coffee. The rest would be... Um, water 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 and i do because i'm familiar with fasting i do get in uh potassium um which is nitrate powder uh himalayan sea salt and then i take magnesium pill because you need all those minerals um in order for your body to function so you don't have a headache and you don't get hungry and you don't get weak all of that so um i take those on my fasting days uh along with uh my blood builder because i am anemic and some collagen just pill form so they're all zero calories and everything um but yeah other than that i think that's what i'm going to be doing i'm going to vlog as much as i can i'll walk you through my fasting day i'll walk you through supplements that i'm taking in order to get through the fasting day and then on the days that i am eating or feasting i'll also walk you through what i'm eating so hopefully you can join me on my journey um but yeah, other than that, as you can see, I haven't taken down any of my HCG videos. Um, I might make them private at some point, but right now they're pretty okay. I'm not embarrassed by them. Um, I have utilized the community of YouTube to really help me um, achieve that first goal. Um, and I loved all the people that I've met through that community. And I will always be grateful for YouTube and the way it brings about a community of people who are trying to do the same thing. So hopefully I can get you to join me on my journey. Um, other than that, I'm wishing you well. Have yourself a great rest of your day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.